Today in the news, we talk AMD's next move and Nvidia abandoning one. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. All right, so a couple of weeks ago at CES 2022, AMD unveiled their new lineup of GPUs for laptops. In 2021, AMD had their RX 6000M lineup, which included the RX 6600M, RX 6700M, and 6800M. They were all based on the same seven nanometer process and Navi dies that are found on the desktop platform, specifically Navi 22 and Navi 23. For 2022, they introduced a new lineup of what we would consider refreshed GPUs. One of the new lineups was dubbed the RX 6000 S series. It was specifically optimized for better power efficiency and more performance per watt. They built this series so we could have more GPU performance in slimmer laptops. I believe they said two centimeters or less. But what if you don't care about a slim laptop? Well, they also introduced a refreshed version of their RX 6000 M series. These models are all about performance. They support 14% faster memory and 7% better performance minimum. And one of the big innovations here is the move to an improved six nanometer process node specifically for Navi 24. Anyway, so why am I rehashing this? Well, it looks like AMD isn't done with their round of refreshes. According to a leaker over on the Chip Hell forum and then corroborated by leaker extraordinaire Greymon55, AMD is indeed bringing these new advancements to the desktop market. And they're doing this pretty soon. These new desktop cards are supposed to be released in Q2 of 2022. The naming scheme would change by adding a 50 at the end and an XT where there wasn't one. It's unclear how many will get the refresh treatment, but the naming would go something like 6950XT, 6850XT, and 6750XT, etc, etc. In terms of performance, it's hard to know exactly what to expect for the desktop chips. I mean, on the mobile chips, what we saw on the highest end was a 7% increase in performance, all gained through much higher clock speeds. They also were a lot more efficient with a max TDP of 165 watts over the max 180 watts of the previous generation. On the desktop market though, power isn't really important, so AMD can really crank it up there. It's still unclear if AMD plans on using the six nanometer process node for this refresh. If it did, TSMC's six nanometer process offers an 18% increase in logic density. So we could have smaller dies, which means more dies per wafer, which means more chips available to the market. Besides that, a memory speed increase could be of order going from 16 gigabits per second to 18 or more. Now, if you think that releasing a refresh here is a dumb idea, since the Navi 3 X generation is supposed to launch at the end of this year, well, you'd be half right. The thing is, according to what we know, AMD isn't launching the whole lineup of Navi 3X this year. It's been rumored for a while that they would start with Navi 33, a mid-tier chip design. Also, according to the rumors, Navi 33, or the RX 7600 series, that's what I'll call it for now, would compete with the highest end 6900 XT, a pretty big leap in performance. If the latter is true, then it would make sense for AMD to deliver a 6950 XT, like a model that would be the fastest GPU until 2023, even after the release of Navi 33. And I'm guessing that AMD also wants to keep the competition alive with the rumored RTX 3090 Ti on the horizon. Side note here, it's supposed to come out tomorrow, January 27th. Side side note here, according to Jay's Two Senses review of the RTX 3050, the 3090 Ti has been delayed to sort of Q2, he said March or a little bit later, which would put even more credibility into AMD releasing a 6950 XT to compete against said 3090 Ti. So yeah. At this point, it's very much all rumors and speculations, so take it with a grain of salt. The main thing to remember is we might see a new refreshed lineup very soon from AMD. Next up, we got Nvidia in the news. In the last year or so, we've been bombarded with news that Nvidia was going to acquire Arm Holdings, a UK-based company that designs and licenses their designs for most chips in things like smartphones, smart TVs, and uh, tablets, various other devices. 
Nvidia buying ARM would have been a huge deal since ARM does business with pretty much every tech company out there and having Nvidia control this could have been a conflict of interest. The sale was pretty much blocked last year by both the UK and the US and after fighting this for the better part of 2021, it looks like the company might be abandoning their plans for uh, the acquisition. That's according to a Bloomberg article. I'm not sure if it's a win or a loss since Nvidia is still a very innovative innovative company and could have taken ARM to the next level, but we'll see what happens in 2022. In any case, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one.